Welcome to Journeys. In this series, you will see various players start out at opposite ends of this large world. Their jobs are to journey to the center point and await the others. Each player will record their view and videos will air with the first player making their journey to the center. Once the first player journeys to the center, then the next series of videos will be the next player making their journey and so on. If they die, they go back to their starting point and start over. Once all players journey to the center, the series will shift to multiplayer where they will work together for their ultimate journey, a journey to the end to kill the dragon. Their journey continues here. All right, I think we want to get up this way and try to get through this. If we can get up here, I hate I hate these areas. All right, let's do this. Let's bring up our F3. All right, well, that's a zombie down there. They don't despawn. I don't like that. We want to get out of these areas. These are dangerous. So we are at 500. We need to start heading this way. We need to get out of this area. Oh, is that an opening there? I see grass, but I don't think it is. This is horrible. Get me out of here. All right, well, there's water. We'll take some watermelon. All right, well, here's some sand. Oh, wow, we got no more room. What do I not need? Sapling, go. All right. We'll take the sand and let's get moving. Still, I really want to be out of here though. I just don't like it. I mean, we're almost, we're in the 400s on the Z, your Z. So, I mean, that's not bad, but we've got basically almost 1,200 and something to go on X. But this area, is, I mean, these jungles are just so massive. Uh, I mean, we're, we're getting there. I mean, we only need to get to 285 on that. Uh, I guess shouldn't use a shovel for that. So I just want to get out of here. Oh, this is so annoying. I missed that jump. I mean, how much for, oh, I think I see an opening up here. I think I see salvation, salvation. Thank you for dinner. All right, here we go. I mean, we're definitely not going to make it by nighttime to the base. That's definitely, definitely not going to happen. All right, so let's look at our coordinates. All right, 285, we are here. So we want to have that number not change. 
That's going up. So we we need to head this way. So basically, I mean, we're not going to change too much here, but we need to have this number go down as much as possible. Because we need to get to negative, basically zero. Let's just say that. Oh, and there's more jungles here. So we're going to try to go a little further. If we see mobs, oh, that's a jungle. Maybe it'll open up here, though. All right. Torch there. Let's get ourselves a house. Not pretty, but it works. All right, so we are set here. Do we have anything we need to cook? I mean, we do have a little bit of raw mutton. cook that I'm trying to think of what we have here we don't need I mean we really we really don't care about that it's a piece of mossy stone we can live without the sapling really don't even need the seeds we eat this piece of chicken because that'll free up a spot all right I mean, I, digging down takes up so much time. And it doesn't seem like we're finding a lot. So, I mean, it'd be nice to hit just get that lucky cave hit. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. If we don't get one, it's going to probably be time to continue. But, I mean, we've basically got to travel another thousand blocks. Um, and we should, st you know, when we get about seven or eight hundred, we should start seeing that uh, beacon in the distance. We'll have to see how visible it is. Uh, then our goal is to get a base made and close up shop. And then what will happen is I'll save the world. I'll teleport myself because it's single player. I'll put all my stuff in a chest. I'll teleport with nothing to the next person's location and send them the world. So they'll log in as single player, and then they'll be who knows where. And then they'll have their fun journey ahead of them. And it'll be a surprise to see who's next. Well, there's some more iron. I wish I'd hit a cave. I used to, you know, it seems like anytime I dig down, I'd always hit a cave. That's it. Two pieces of iron. That wasn't much. So, I mean, we'll keep doing this because obviously we got lots of time. Did I drop. I thought I dropped extra drop there. This is a little bit better vein here. It's like six iron maybe. Probably go ahead and make some iron tools when I get back up there. You know, like I said, pickaxe made out of iron just because you need it. There's more iron. We're doing a good job with our torches. We got plenty of those. We're just not getting the old cave luck here. This pick's about ready to break. All right. Well, there's more iron. 
see how much of this iron we can get before the pick breaks. I got a feeling it's going to break here before we finish this. Will we get all the iron? Oh, wow. We did. We did it. All right, let's head on back up. We do have sand, so we can make a piece of glass, which I think I'll do first, so that way we'll have a window. And we can see what's going on, because we want to know if it's daytime. All right, so we got no... Let's just cook. Here, let's see, where are we going to put this stuff? Oh, man, I tell you. We got so much junk. Let's just break our pick. I was hoping the breaking. Here we go. It's gonna break in a second. There we go. All right. So there we have our skylight. All right, do we have anything else that can be cooked? I do think so. All right, and we might be able to, eh, thought maybe we could see it. Oh, let's go ahead and make our iron tools. Switch these. I'm not going to worry about the shovel. I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's make this our dumping spot here. We don't want any of that junk. But let's go ahead while we're here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this stick to, or sword. We don't need it. All right, and then let's let's get the rest of our iron cooking. Daytime or nighttime. Let's head on back down. We didn't get any redstone in the last cave. Didn't have my iron pick back then. Let's see if we get lucky here. I hear a bat. And I hear lava. We do have flint. Now we have flint and steel. All right, well, here's our first cave. Be careful we don't fall down into like a lava pit. Ooh, 
this is a cave here. Gotta be careful. Don't want to get killed. Oh, there we go. Diamond. Be nice if it's up above here. Alright, well, three diamond. I'll take that. Alright, well, that's not too shabby. But, I would... Torches on the left for me. I always put things on the right. Here's our way up. I want to go up and see if it's daytime. Because we've got stuff. I mean, I'm happy. I'd like to really get to the base. And I'd like to actually, you know, build the base. And be able to do it before dark. So I don't want to miss the daylight. And I got a bad feeling it's already daylight up here. But let's find out. It is. All right, now this is my next problem. It's picking up everything. What do I not need? Diorite, cocoa beans. I think I have everything. Okay. Alright, so we need to get our butts moving. We want to get to 33 negative. So this seems to be seems to be pretty decent pace here. But I think we're gonna do it, guys. I think we're gonna do it. Oh, that lava fall over there is cool. All right, so let's just keep getting our distance. As long as we don't run into any weird... Wow, that's, that is cool looking. I like that. Um, we're going to let the horses go. If I had a saddle, boy, we could really make distance. Now, I did tell the other players who are going to do this. I don't want them just trying to beeline it, you know, as quickly as possible to the, the base. I want them to explore, take their time, you know, because I want you guys to experience everybody's kind of let's play. You know, what do they talk about? What do they do? Uh, all of that stuff. So, I want you know, I want you to experience all of that. Uh, so, it'll be interesting to see the different play styles. And, and how these people, you know, how they do by themselves. Because, you know, a lot, a lot of the mods are used to doing stuff together. Uh, but, you know, from a standpoint of doing something like this on their own, you'll get to hear, you know, more from them. So you'll get, ooh, boy, there's a lot of mountains here. This water goes through. We might, we might follow the water through. All right, so we are... We're making making distance here, but this looks like the water ended. Man, if they if they'd ever add a water mob that was aggressive, like piranhas or something, this would be a dangerous journey. I'm hoping this mountain's not too difficult to get over. Um, so far, we're making easy time, but you know sometimes things drop off. I love this world here. This this is really nice. But looks like, e, I don't know. I almost want to go over it. Let's just go through here. This is kind of cool. Hopefully we don't have like skellies that are in there. Ooh, nice. Oh, zombie. All right, let's, whoop, multiple zombies. I don't want to fight them. We're going to let them guys go. get 
up this. And not have to worry about mobs and get over it somewhat. This is slowing me down so much. And I don't really want to slow down. I want to get moving. I mean, it's definitely not a short journey. E boy. All right, these are some jumps, but we're going to try. Try some simple little drops. Oh boy. Let's try to get to this water. Riding water down is fun. Oh, the witch hit us. Leave us alone, witch. Leave us alone. Alright, I think we lost her. She's a meanie. All right, let's just try to get over this. I, I mean, I really feel like we've wasted so much time here. At least this is an arc. The food doesn't spoil. Come back here so I can kill you. I can't carry anymore. What else don't I need? Eh, we'll get rid of that. There's more cows. We'll pick up more cow meat. I tell you, this is... This is a lot... Of mountains here. I think I, I think I gave myself one of the tougher distances. All right, so we have another 400 to go. And this is definitely heading the right way here. What is this going to do here? Is this a waterfall into what? Yeah, I don't like that. Not a fan of that one. I mean, I mean, it's just, it won't open up. It's either mountains now or forests. I mean, I think, I think we can make it. I really do. I think this is the, the last, I mean, I hope I can make it before dark. I mean, we're making good time. We're under, basically, we got 270 blocks to go. And it looks like, looks like we might have to go a little bit over this way. Because remember, it's supposed to be 285 and we're at four. So, I mean, I haven't gone the straightest, but I think we're going to see that beacon here in a second. Yep, there it is. Salvation. 